Hello, it's another great day for maths. And this is question um, 12B part 2. And the topic is on highest common factor and lowest common multiple. This is one of the chapters that was in secondary 1, when you first learn about numbers and their factors. So just to go straight to the part on part 2, they asked for the lowest common multiple of 54 and 3 times 10, 3 times 5 to the power of n. So I've listed it both here, 54 and 3 times 5 power n. Now, depending on how your teacher taught you, but basically a quick method is once I've listed out the two numbers that I'm comparing, I will now look at the highest possible powers for each prime factor. So our prime factors are 2, 3, and 5, lined up like this, based on the two numbers. So between 2 and no 2 here, 2 and no 2 here, I will take the highest that I can get. I'm very greedy when it comes to multiples. So I'll take 2. Okay, multiplied by now the 3 column, 3 cubed and 3 power 1. Greedy, take the highest power. I will take 3 power 3. Lastly, I have no factor of 5 on top, but I have a factor of 5 to the power of n. I will also take 5 to the power of n. Now, so this technically is the lowest common multiple when I multiply everything out. And since they want the answer to be the product of its, of its prime factors, I do not need to multiply anything out actually. And this is the final answer. The lowest common multiple is 2 times 3 cubed times 5 to the power of n, where n is a number bigger than 0. And we are done.